This video is brought to you by World Press Photo Award winner Wolfgang Peter Geller and Sunbounce.com. I'm Michael Greco. Today we're going to go out and do, I guess, our part two of guerrilla shooting in downtown Los Angeles. I had this idea. I have a new ebook coming out based on my Lighting in the Dramatic portrait book. So the ebook will be out by the time this, uh, this video runs. And I wanted to demonstrate how we made this picture in downtown Los Angeles. This is made on the Santa Fe Bridge with producer Lawrence Bender. Today, we're gonna use a model and a stylist, and, but I'm gonna to talk to you about the lighting and the concepts of how we made this and relate it to the picture in the book. This job, I flipped through my book. I figured out uh, what I was going to do, and um, and uh, just picked that picture, and then picked a makeup artist whose work I liked, who wanted a test. And uh, today's about fun. And today we're going to shoot in color, we're not going to shoot in black and white, uh, but this shows you the basics. And here, we were probably bringing the ambient light down maybe three stops. This is probably, uh, this was shot with my Hasselblad, it's probably 500 at f11.5, f16. Instead of shooting Lawrence Bender, we have our model Natalie here, and May, our makeup artist, is working on Natalie. She's finishing her makeup. We started her makeup elsewhere just so that we weren't in this lovely parking lot for two hours. Good hair and makeup often takes like two hours. We've got Callan, our wardrobe stylist here. Um, Callan, our wardrobe stylist here, who's pulled clothes and Rachel, our hair person right here. So <laughs> this is my team, this is my creative team, right? So Woo. I'm showing you the lighting of that shot, but we don't need the subject matter to be the same. Since it's a relatively small shoot, what I'm trying to do is pare down my equipment. So I have battery operated Comet packs. I have one Dynalite pack, which is a uh, AC power pack. The, this is gonna be the flash to provide the light that I use to take my portraits and do my fashion work. And I use strobes because they're powerful enough to overpower the sun. A hot light, an HMI, a tungsten light, isn't strong enough to overpower the sun. The sun's very bright. But a strobe can flash and be strong enough to overpower the sun. So these are battery operated strobe packs and they go into a strobe head like this. Or this is a plug-in AC strobe pack and it goes into this head right here. And what we've got is a small generator to power these strobe packs. Again, this is our gorilla shoot. No permit. Um, we're just rolling out onto the uh, sidewalk. We're all going to line up on the sidewalk. We're going to shoot as much as we can until uh, someone arrests us or stops us. And um, we want to be as fast and as versatile as possible.
was just a little bit Okay, whenever I start a shoot, I like to use my little X-Rite color checker. This is a pocket one, this is a little tiny one, and I drop it in the shot and it gives me a gray, it gives me something neutral, and I don't always leave it that way. I manipulate the color and the look the way I want it, but it gives me in, in Photoshop or in Camera Raw or Focus Software, it gives me what's neutral. This is, this is this little thing from Light Tools that goes over the, uh, the screen on your laptop and I couldn't do without it. Like I'm having to look all the way in there to see what's going on precisely. face wasn't opening up and getting lit. So what I kept doing is tweaking the ambient light up and looking at the shots as I was shooting them so that I can get a feel for when it was right. That's why for me it's imperative to always be shooting with my laptop or some monitor, some way to look at this. Hopefully it's calibrated and you know you're looking at the, you know, at the right thing. But I kept creeping the strobe up so that it filled in her eyes and it actually lit her face so she can turn in my direction. Um, the background I got right from the beginning, like I said, I tried a couple of different exposures, but I had to get the strobe to the right place. The reality here is when you're mixing strobe and ambient light, the reality is, is that you're adding two light sources and there has to be a relationship and a balance between them. So we got here, the wind was ridiculously strong, everything's blowing all over the place. We shot into the wind that way and then we turned around and shot this way and I think they came out really great. Uh, we had a great day and now it's time to get out of here. This video is brought to you by World Press Photo Award winner Wolfgang Peter Geller and Sunbounce.com.